What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Klein Tools ET310, the uh, receiver and also the transmitter. I'll explain how these work a little bit, kind of show you how they work. Uh, but overall, I'll tell you everything you need to know about them, including one thing that I think that you should know before buying. So I got this mainly because my wife and I have been doing a lot of different house renovations. Uh, we actually just got done with the kitchen. And one of the most annoying things on earth to me anyway is having to run back and forth to a circuit uh, panel and turning you know, breakers on and off to see what goes to what. So this tool here uh, actually helps with this one. Uh, they help to figure that information out quickly and efficiently without having to run back and forth. And you know, you can just kind of figure it out quickly. It's really, really nice and uh, great for that instead of you know running all around the house. You know, and if, if you're all alone, that's even more of a nightmare, right? Because then you gotta run, check if things are on, check if lights are off, et cetera, et cetera. So this stops all that. So how does it work? Well, it's pretty easy. So this right here, you could tell, you could just plug this into any outlet. Um, and it'll give you the, uh, you know, all, all the different things that you need to know, whether it's correct, G, GFCI, um, you know, all the different configurations, basically letting you know, hey, uh, whether it's wired correctly or not. If this one at the bottom is what is uh, lit up, right, there's just two lights on the right, then you're in good shape. Uh, to show you a quick example, I'm going to plug it into this right here. And you can see that works. I plug it directly into the outlet, but if I do... I can unplug this cord right here, which is going to turn off these lights. So I don't want to do that. Uh, but basically, this is a good thing. This just lets you know, hey, this is properly wired. Now, that's great for an outlet. What if, you know, you're probably wondering, well, you know, what if I, I want to check a light bulb? Well, look at that. That looks like a light bulb, doesn't it? Well, that's because this will plug into this, will plug into here, which will then plug into here. It has to because there's three prongs on it, so it needs an adapter. But basically you can plug these all in together, right? Screw it into a light bulb and you can find out what circuit that is on as well. So let me show you how that works. So like I said, you just plug them into each other, you screw it into where a light bulb is, and then it will let you know, again, the same indicator here, and you can find out what circuit it is on with this thing. That all said, now that the adapters and everything are out there, let me plug this in and show you how this works at the circuit breaker. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to plug it in right here, right? You can see the lights are on, basically indicating, hey, this is uh, properly wired, right? And you can see here we have the circuit board. Uh, so this is where everything is, right? Um, and for me, here's how this works. So you grab this, you press it on, and it's going to be beeping like this. First thing you do, you guys, you scan it all the way through slowly and you ignore the beeps, right? So we're just gonna bring it through. And what you're doing now is you're helping it understand what is what, okay? So we do that and then we go up here and we just wanna kinda slowly scan each. And now that we have that all figured out, we wanna actually hold it and bring it down right here. And we can see nothing's happening, right? Looks like dedicated is the one. Red means that that's the one, okay? So we're just gonna flip this. And remember how I said this wouldn't work anymore? The lights wouldn't work. See how these lights aren't on? See how these lights no longer work? That's how it works. It basically will, will detect what circuit the thing, this thing is plugged into and you can turn it off without running back and forth. And now just to show you, we'll turn back on the dedicated and voila, the lights are back on. So that's it, you guys. And I just want to mention too, this will plug directly into here. So if you just want to kind of keep it all together, good way to do that. And then you just have this adapter to the side. Now, I did mention there was one thing you should know before buying this. The most important thing, right? When you are first at the circuit board, you want to scan it like I showed you. If you just go start at the top and go down once and then you just stop where it starts beeping and flashing and you're like, that's the one, you can get it wrong. It may have a, uh, a uh, incorrect read. You have to scan the board slowly first to make sure that this thing can properly do its job and identify 
the one that it actually is. But other than that, guys, yeah, if you just want to save yourself a tremendous amount of steps and also have something just basically to check if your uh, outlets are actually working, this is great for that too. Highly, highly recommend. Absolutely love this thing. It saved me countless headaches, and I hope it does for you too.